My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? So spring is here, and this is around the time of the year I spring clean my plugin list. So with this video, we're going to go over managing plugins in Studio One. We're going to go through all the, the plugins that I have, and I'm going to either hide them or show them, or some of them I'm going to choose to uninstall altogether. And uh, for that, I'm going to do a separate video on how to uninstall uh, plugins uh, in Studio One from, a, from your Mac if you're on a Mac. So with the, I've got the browser up here and I'm under effects and under here, you've got the option to see your favorites or your recent plugins that you've used uh, to manage them. You want to click this wrench up here in the upper right. And you'll notice that, well, I just turned it off. You turn it on uh, the plugins will kind of shift to the right a little bit. And from here, we'll start with uh, this first folder here. And I'm just going to go through and the, the dot is going to mean that you can see it. And if there's no dot, that means that it's hidden. So what I've done is I use VST3 plugins. So if there's a plugin that installs with VST3 and VST2, I've gone through and I've hid the VS2 version so I can only see the VST3. And you may have VST and audio unit installed here. If you have both the VST and audio unit and you don't want to see both of them, you can, you've got two options. You can just hide it here. You can just click that, that dot to hide it. Or what you can do is go into uh, preferences, come down to advanced. And if you go in here, you've got an option here for, uh, to disable support for audio units and that'll remove any audio unit plugins from being seen in uh, the studio one browser they'll still be installed on your uh, system you just won't be able to see them so uh, back to this list so this is the sta delay and i'm going to keep this i do use this a little bit i mostly use h delay and echo boy but uh, this is a delay that i like so i'm going to keep that uh, melodyne i'm going to keep that uh, the rouser definitely going to keep that uh, the decam free, we're going to keep that. Uh, that's hidden. Okay. Isotope. Okay. So this uh, ozone imager, I'm I'm not going to use that at all. So I'm, that's one of the ones I'm going to uh, going to uninstall. Okay. So this is one of the plugins that came with the uh, Studio One uh, plugin, Studio Magic Suite. Forget exactly what they're calling it. I didn't. I wasn't really thrilled with it when I first used it, so I've, I've got it hidden. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. I, I may need to mess with it some more, but my initial impressions of it uh, really didn't do anything for me. Uh, the Electra, I do use that. I have the hardware, uh, which I don't use the the plugin as much. I find the knobs are uh, having a knob interface on a, a plugin makes it a little difficult trying to turn a knob uh, with a mouse. So. Um, I'll go ahead and keep that for now. Uh, Lexicon. So this is another plugin that came in the uh, Studio One bundle. I wasn't really impressed with this when I initially used it. And I've got a lot of reverb plugins that are my go-tos right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that. Uh, McDSP. Retro Pack. I definitely use that. Ultimate Compressor. I use that. So this uh, Dynamic EQ here. I've been using the Waves one a lot and haven't really gone back to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Analog channel, I use those. The compressor bank, I could uh, likely go without that. Uh, DE5, that's the DSer, I use that. Uh, I've got the filter bank hidden. Fuzz box, I use that. A multi band compressor, I've got the Wave C6 now that I like a little better. So I'm going to go with that and we're going to hide this. Metric Halo. I like this channel strip, but I don't really use it that much anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide it. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep the native instrument stuff. Uh, bus driver, I really like that on bass. We're gonna keep that. Uh, snapshot, we're gonna keep that. Plug-in alliance, let's see. Meter, so, opto, okay. So I've got two meters here, let's see. 
you know, this one on the bottom is just the, and you can see here when you close the VST2, I don't need to see that, so we'll hide that. Opto is fine. Sub filter will keep that. Okay, I think we're good there. So here's another one I need to uninstall. I demoed this one and uh, the demos ran out. I didn't purchase it. So I'm going to uninstall that one. DSers I use. Uh, these ones, I haven't, I need to mess around with these. I've got these uh, unfiltered audio plugins and never really messed with them. I'll go ahead and keep them up for now. Uh, Presonus, we're going to go ahead and keep everything in there. HD car, this is my favorite go to reverb right now. Definitely keeping that. Soft tube, this folder should be pretty, pretty good. Let's go through. Okay, the Trident EQ, I really don't use that that much. We'll go ahead and hide that. Reverbs, okay. Yeah, I pretty much use everything here in the soft tube folder, except for, uh, I don't really use the, where did it go, the, the Valley People Dynamite that much, so I've already got that hidden. All right, SSL, yeah, this should be already done too. I'm going to keep those. Sound toys. I'm going to keep everything from sound toys. I do have hidden the the, the smaller versions of like the Devil Oak or Devil Oak. I've got the deluxe version here, so I've got the smaller one hidden. And I think the same with the micro shift as well. Yeah, we're definitely keeping all of the sound toys. Okay, so this one probably has the most in it, the Waves, because Waves installs mono and mono stereo and stereo versions. So some of these plugins I know that I'm not going to use a mono or stereo version of, and I've gotten some new Waves plugins lately. So this is a folder that definitely needs some work. Uh, a Abbey Rhodes plate. Yeah, I'm not going to use the mono reverb at all. I'm just going to use a stereo one. So I'm going to hide those two. Uh, Brower Motion Stereo, that's fine. That's the mono stereo. We'll take that one out too and just use the stereo. This is the C6 multiband compressor. I'm not going to use a mono version of that, so let's hide that. And we'll hide the mono side chain as well. Okay. See, like the uh, the CLA2A stereo, I'm not going to use one in stereo, so I've got it hidden. Uh, DBX, we are. We're good there. I might use that stereo on drums, so I'll keep that there. Doppler, I could probably go ahead and hide that. It's not one that I really use. Doubler. Doubler. Okay, so here's one I, I just installed this one today. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll leave the mono and stereo for now until I test it out and really see how I'm going to use it. Mono version of this one, we can we can hide the stereo version. I I like this on vocals. F6 mono, yeah, I'm not going to use a stereo version of that. H comp stereo, okay. And H E Q, I'm not going to use a mono version of H E Q. Okay, H reverb stereo. I'm not going to use a mono version of the J37. Okay, it's like the, the Kramer Pi. I don't use that too much, so I've got it hidden. I'm not going to use a mono version of the Kramer tape. Okay, see what else we've got here. What is this oh the nx i haven't really missed with this yet we'll go ahead and leave, leave that for now one dot pump stereo not going to use a mono version of the of the paz analyzer let's get rid of anything mono okay q want to see Yeah, I really don't use the, I think I've got the, the Q, I thought I had the Q10 down there. R-Base, yes. 
our compressor down. With our compressor, I've got the star next to it. So if you have the star, that's going to add it to your favorites up at the top there. Okay, this is all looking pretty good. More box mono, okay. I'm not going to use a, a stereo of the ships. That's good. Smack attack mono. Yep, that's good. I don't need a smack attack stereo. Sound shifter. Haven't really messed with that one yet. SSL, okay. And see, like, uh, for example, the, you know, the bus compressor mono, I'm not going to use one. So I've got it hidden. And studio rack. Okay, V comp. I don't really use that, so I got that hidden. I'm not going to use a mono of vitamin. And that's it. VU meter. I'm not going to use a mono VU meter here. So, okay, so that's it. That's kind of my spring cleaning here for my plugins and I'm going to let's see the isotope and the plug-in alliance uh, millennia we need to uninstall those okay so next video I'm gonna go over uninstalling uh, how to uninstall plugins from a Mac here for your studio uh, one plugins uh, any questions on managing your uh, plugin list comment uh, let me know and just I can't remember if we opened it or not but you got your if you hit that star you've got your favorites here and just a look at what's in my favorites right now uh, the CLA 2A fat channel pro EQ R compressor ship 73 and uh, the recently released ships Omni channel and also to mention once you're done uh, with your showing and hiding of the plugins you want to go back up to that wrench and just click it again and you'll be good to go. So how often do you go through and clean up your plugin list? Let me know. And I'll catch y'all next time.